searching vehicles, checkpoints. Normally, guard dog handlers and their dogs are assigned to infantry companies and take their orders there. A guard dog handler must therefore have military training as an infantryman in order to be able to fulfill his duties with his dog. In general, the handler and his dog are employed as cover during searches. The main job is to protect the person speaking to drivers of vehicles, although they can also function as a reserve element. So if the person carrying out the vehicle check notices something irregular concerning the vehicle passengers, or if there is a clear threat with any kind of weapon, that person can release the dog. The dog is then used in proportion to the threat to prevent an attack. Sniffer dogs have a highly preventative effect inasmuch as the sheer presence of the dog is enough to make the other person think twice about uncooperative behavior towards the checkpoint staff. If, in his capacity as covering element, the guard dog handler spots a danger of which the person carrying out the vehicle search remains unaware, he can use the dog of his own accord to head off the threat. Explosives Sniffer Dogs The Army's Explosives Sniffer Dogs are only used by trained dog handlers. The dog is taught to recognize the various smells of different kinds of explosives by using its toys, and so, in searching for contraband, is only really looking for a toy. This is why only dogs with a high drive to play are suitable to be trained as explosives sniffer dogs. The dog shows its handler when it has found something by freezing, lying down, sitting or standing. It takes about one year to train an explosive sniffer dog and the dogs can then be used to search vehicles, luggage, buildings or grounds for explosives. Sensitive areas and premises are watched from a series of observation posts. An Einsatzzentrale von Beobachtungsposten. Meldung: Eine Person hat Sektor 12A betreten. Antworten. Verstanden. Eine Person hat Sektor 12A betreten. Antworten. Verstanden. Richtig. Antworten. Dogs are a useful way of stopping people gaining entry into restricted or core areas before shots are fired. 
The dog and its handler must be capable of carrying out orders in all kinds of situations, and so man-dog teams might be transported by vehicle, armored vehicle, or helicopter to their place of deployment. The dogs are expected to work in any conditions, regardless of noise, heat, or cold. Patrol. Patrols are part of protection or supervision of a military objective. The dog handler and his dog patrol, along with another soldier who acts to increase security for the man-dog team, inside a restricted or core zone. The deterrent effect, that is, the frightening appearance of a military dog, is great, and the dog is thus valued simply as a preventative measure. If someone does actually come into the restricted zone, this person is told to freeze and then accompanied out. If the person refuses, the dog is used in an uncompromising way. The person attempting to enter the restricted zone is then led away by reserve soldiers, allowing the dog, its handler, and the security soldier to continue the task. Searching buildings. The dog's job is to detect possible offenders and then keep them in place by barking until its handler arrives. If the offender tries to defend himself, the dog can prevent this with an uncompromising bite and grip maneuver. The dog cools down explosive situations and is very useful for people. If the offender gives himself up, like this one in the film, then he is accompanied by the dog team through to arrest. of the group then goes on to search the rest of the building, clearing it floor by floor. As soon as the offender is in custody, he is dealt with by the reserves, allowing the dog team to go back to searching the building. Search and rescue dogs are very important in Switzerland. They follow in the footsteps of the famous Barry, the best known rescue dog in the country, a St. Bernard's who saved many, many lives. The dogs are specialized in locating buried people, even through several floors of collapsed masonry. They show when they have found someone by barking. Often, the places they are needed have been cut off from normal traffic. And yet they need to be on site as soon after the disaster as possible. For this reason, they are often flown in by helicopter, and so flying in choppers is an integral part of their training. The training program leads the dog to associate the helicopter with the search work, and so the dog learns to enjoy flying ignoring the loud noise of the engines. The dog handlers never stop enjoying the feeling of being airborne in the company of man's best friend. And such man-dog teams quickly become one. This allows the handler and his dog to produce extraordinary performances when necessary, despite physical and psychological exhaustion on longer deployments.
When it reaches the scene of the disaster, the dog has to overcome huge obstacles, work its way around gaping holes, and much, much more in order to find people who are trapped. Their handlers have to deal with often nightmarish sights, too. Yet both man and dog must put all this aside and get on with the task at hand in order to effectively carry out their orders. These orders never change. Find survivors with the worst injuries as quickly as possible. What cannot be predicted is the extent of the damage, the number of people affected, the sites that will be seen. For this reason, search and rescue dog handlers must be as well prepared as their four-legged friends are well trained. Drugs sniffer dogs. Also, bei den Herren, die Turinpro positiv war, machen wir jetzt noch Gepäckkontrolle. Wachmeister Müller geht jetzt den Hund holen und macht das. Drugs sniffer dogs are only used by trained dog handlers and just like explosive sniffer dogs, anti-drugs dogs need to have a huge drive to play. The dog is made acquainted with the various smells of different drugs like heroin, cocaine, hash and leaf cannabis, as well as amphetamines through its toys. Note that drug sniffer dogs are not addicted to drugs. Drugs are highly toxic for dogs. Drug sniffer dogs show when they have found something by scratching or by freezing like the explosive sniffer dogs. It takes about one year to train an anti-drugs dog and the animals are then used by the military police when searching army training institutions. Sniffer dogs must be able to carry out their work even in disagreeable underground locations and windy, precarious heights. Good teamwork between the dog and its handler is essential for its successful use. <laughs> 